One year ago, 35-year-old Ginger Christian looked like this. Fast forward 12 months, and Ginger checks into the Y looking like this. The busy mom of three children, who works and also homeschools, comes to the Y almost every afternoon, six days a week, to work out. She's dropped 95 pounds with no medical intervention. During this time of self-improvement, she's added back another 15 pounds of solid muscle mass. The question is this, why did she do it? I just wanted to feel better. It was time. I had spent most of my life being overweight, unhealthy, not eating the best, and it just was a flip that kind of switched and it was time to get healthy. Ginger's incredible transformation is a reflection of her tenacity and determination, her desire to find a better life. What's the secret to her success? Sticking to it every single day, as many days as I can, walking as much as I can, and eliminating as much stress as possible. During her journey, she has discovered something else that doesn't have anything to do with weight loss. She feels so much better now. I have so much more energy. I sleep so much better. I'm just in a better mood most of the time. It's a complete 180. Being a member of the Y has helped her reach her goals in so many ways. So first and foremost, the child care, and everyone who works over there is so kind and helpful. Um, everyone here has started to recognize me, and they motivate me. When I walk in, you know, the friendly hello makes me want to come back. Now that she's found a new sense of self, will she ever revert back to the old ginger? This is it. This is what I'm going to be doing for the rest of my life. She also has some advice to those who want to change their old lives into a new and more energetic one. Cut as much stress as you can and find your happiness. If you're, if you're fighting it, it's going to be hard for you. But if you're motivated to keep going, you're going to keep going. Keeping going is not going to be a problem for Ginger. She'll make sure of that. Doug Walker, reporting for our YMCA.